Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. It is um, Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's Thursday. Nope, it's Wednesday. The first, second, third. It's Wednesday. I tell you, this um, year starting on a Monday, and the Monday being a holiday, got me a little bit messed up. In fact, in class last night, we have our astrology salon, which you too can uh, enjoy with us if you like. There's options on my website to uh, take one class or take a series of six and come and see what we talk about. Uh, last night, we talked about oh, many things. We talked about uh, Chiron return for the United States. We talked about... Uh, Pluto moving into Aquarius and how it affected the United States chart, how it affected uh, Joe Biden's chart, and how it affected um, Vladimir Putin's chart. It's very active on Vladimir Putin's chart. Um, and uh, not in a good way for Vlad, so, um, but of course, you know, we don't always know how it's going to work out. But um, yeah, so that was fun. Anyway, we, all of us, didn't know what day it was, so I didn't feel bad that I don't know what day it is when I get up in the morning. <clears throat> but I will uh, guarantee you that today is the third, because I, I looked before I left, before I got out into the the freezing cold, just for you guys. But, oh, such a beautiful day. Look at this sky. So the moon is in, uh, oh, I wrote it down. Libra? Yes, still? Yes. Moon and Libra. Um, of course, the Libra moon is one in which we're very aware of the other person. We want to have peace, sometimes peace at any cost, which is, uh, I guess, in s certain situations that might be good, but in interpersonal relationships, not always the best. Sometimes you have to fight for what you want, although that's not really what this day is about. We have an inconjunct between Venus, the ruler of Libra, and Jupiter in another Venus rule sign of Taurus. This inconjunct uh, requires adjustments. The energy of this inconjunct is giving too much, doing too much. Um, we've all had our relationships where we've uh, given too much in a relationship or uh, we haven't allowed the person to mature, always trying to... Uh, help them along and in their helping um we don't necessarily help them or maybe we do help them um because you know everybody likes a little help right but we don't always help ourselves in this situation so this is a really uh, important day to see where maybe you've given too much in a relationship and uh the um we need to balance the energy um so we can get what we want um, and be responsible about it and not necessarily give away the farm, which is uh, something that this aspect can, can bring uh, the, the tendency that this aspect can bring to light. But like with everything, it's brought to light for us to, uh, evaluate it. Is it working? Is it not working? What do we need to change? You know, that kind of stuff. And, um, we also have, uh, a quintile, uh, later today between, the sun and, and, um, and Neptune. So, you know, when I say miracles can happen, miracles can happen today. Uh, what that miracle is going to look like, I'm not quite sure, but keep your eyes open for a miracle. All I need is a miracle. All I need is a miracle. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and then we also have, what, 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 I wrote it down. Yes, the sun and moon make their last quarter square with the moon, of course, in Libra and the sun in Capricorn. Uh, we do have uh, some things uh, towards the end degrees of the signs. Uh, Mars is, is, is doing its last full day in Sag. And, of course, Pluto uh, is moving closer and closer to leaving Capricorn, which happens on the 20th of this month. 
uh, big, big changes and big shifts if that happens, as that happens. Um, yeah, important stuff. So that's what's going on. So look around. Who are you giving too much to? Stop it. You're not helping them, and you're certainly not helping yourself. Uh, figure out a better way. People have to mature at their own in their own time, and it's their responsibility, not yours. You can't force somebody to be a better person. They have to sort of come at it, um, you know, within themselves. And if you're always, you know, every time they stumble and you're and you're always throwing a mattress down so they don't hurt themselves, how are they ever going to learn? Right? Okay. All right, so that's the story, Morning Glories. Just so you know, <laughs> it's pretty cold out here this morning, but let's see what the temp is. Oh, it's balmy. Looks like it's about 28. Yeah, it's a balmy 28. I think we might actually, get, there's a storm coming. There's the crispy roof. My roof is black, but it's not on days like this. Um, there's a storm coming, so we might actually get some snow. Although... There's a chance we don't get it here because we're on the coast. We either don't get it or when we get it, it's like, whoo, it's like a dump of snow. But uh, I think New England's going to have uh, have some some white stuff soon. So uh, if you're in the vicinity in the area, uh, enjoy that. Make sure you have your shovels near your door. Get those, the kind of salt that doesn't hurt your pet's paws. And uh, be careful out there. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Like and subscribe. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what's happening, what's happening. I put out uh, the astrology. I think I said this yesterday. I put out the astrology of January. It is long, too long, really. I wanted to sort of chunk it up, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So it is time stamped. So you can actually go to that every week. Go to like a w week one and two is in... Um, is together and then there's week three week four i think and week five so you can go right to those weeks as you look at it but uh really good information a lot of good stuff came through on that one if you're so interested and inclined i am going to get back to doing uh, my in the news segments the end of the year was just uh crazy busy trying to get everything out for the beginning of the year i had a class going and uh I will have some more classes, um, probably starting in February, a beginner's astrology class. If you want to know a little bit more about all the words I use, the beginner's astrology class is a great class. It's a six week consecutive on consecutive, whatever day I choose. Uh, lately, I've been choosing Monday and Thursday. That may be the case. I don't know. I have to see. But if you're interested, email me, please, because um, it's, I, I would like to know who, who might be interested in that. That six week course is, uh, $180 for the, for this whole six week course. You get notes and, and all the classes are recorded and you have them for posterity. So you can go back to them over and over again. It's definitely, uh, it's an investment as, as, as most things are. But it's an investment that keeps uh, paying, 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 paying dividends. I'm also going to be starting a new introduction in the, into the Kabbalah and the Tree of Life. Um, this is also a, sort of a primer course on that. It's another six-week course. Um, I do them in six-week increments, the first six weeks. And then I usually have a second six-week course after that just to uh, see if we can fit everything in because there's a lot to talk about with that structure of the tree and the like. So um, what each part of the tree stands for, how it interconnects, how it, how it relates to numbers, how it relates to planetary alignments. It's really uh, quite, uh, quite an, an awesome little class. So again, uh, I will uh, let you know. Uh, you can email me if you wanted to do that. Email me if you're interested. All right. I'm going to go because my, my fingertips are now frozen to my camera. And uh, it's time to go have some more hot coffee. All right, guys. Much love. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Namaste.